Okay, so last week we had gotten to Is that the music. We had gotten to the point where uh, we showed up here, and uh, <laughs> we found all these egg sacs everywhere. Always a good time, you know. They gave us more flame flower juice and some ammo and stuff. And I would assume <laughs> we get to deal with some baddies in here. Oh, that reminds me. I guess uh, let's take inventory. What do we got? We need bonding agent and we need some more injectors to make sure we're in a good spot for medkits. Oh, oh. Ask and ye shall receive. Uh, it's just an injector. We still need bonding agent, which like this compound B used to be the hardest thing to find and then like we just found it non-stop uh, Stumpatons, can we craft? No, can we craft shotgun, revolver, flamethrower juice? Bolt gun? <laughs> okay, we have noisemakers, smoke bombs. We don't use like any of this this bottom stuff because it never like does anything. Fancy death! Happy Saturday to you as well. How are you today? Hope you're having an amazing morning so far. You know, I was watching you play uh, Blasphemous. That game looks awesome. Like, the art style of that game is so freaking good. How are you liking that so far? Okay. Sensors? They're giving us a lot of stuff in here. Like, in this one room, there's a lot of stuff. Okay, and then let us make sure that we have a flamethrower. A great lazy day. Those are the best days. Oh! I just noticed that there's slime. This is usually a bad sign. Uh, like, it's cold and raining here where I live, and uh, I just woke up and sat under the blanket for probably most of the morning, just like watch some Twitch. <laughs> Probably what I'll do after the stream. <laughs> it's like such a great day to do nothing. Uh, 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 uh. No. <laughs> oh, we got face huggers. Crown the lion. Happy Saturday. How are you today? Are we in hell now? Space hell. Yeah, we're definitely in hell now. And maze balls. Every all the cool kids are showing up. How are you today? Happy Saturday. You're loving it. You'll be returning to the normal schedule on Tuesday, but you'll try and finish it up on Fridays. Nice. Yeah, that game is so freaking awesome looking. The gang's all here. Happy birthday day. Oh, yeah. Happy day after your birthday. I hope it was a great day. I hope you got to celebrate it in some fun way. Super cozy this morning. I I'm probably doing the same if I'm being honest <laughs> like it, it's cold and raining here and like I just had no ambition to do anything this morning no 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 <laughs> this world isn't for you sir oh what is this That's a very loud humming sound. <laughs> oh my goodness. You got pistachio almond ice cream. Fill up your gas tank for the freeze. That's actually probably a smart idea. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just set the whole egg sack on fire. That's a good idea. Hopefully we don't... Oh, oh I see flamethrower juice. I think that thing just exploded on us. Yeah, uh, so... 
Pistachio almond ice cream sounds amazing. Ice, any kind of ice cream sounds amazing, if I'm being honest. I think uh, cookies and cream is probably my weakness. Cookies and cream ice cream is like the best freaking thing on earth. Activate alpha coconut. Overload beta core. Oh! Is Toast back? Oh god. I think Toast- Oh Jesus fuck! <laughs> I guess that's probably like a, a seizure warning. <laughs> Hey, don't look at that if you're prone to seizures. No! What in the like, freaking hell is happening right now? That does sound amazing. Does this count as animal sacrifice of XX? <laughs> It's your kryptonite. We have bluebell cookie two-step. Cookies and cream with cookie dough. Oh my god. Bluebell ice cream is just like another level of good. Bluebell cookies and cream is another level of good. So I definitely have to try that with like cookie dough. Dear god. Chunky monkey. Chunky monkey is my dad's favorite. Like. Oh, toast is here. Toast is here. <laughs> Like, if you ever want to get on my dad's good side, just give him some Chunky Monkey ice cream. <laughs> this is where we find out Toast had a baby mama named Bagel. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Oh. Random telephone in hell? I like it. <laughs> it's like the people yelling I think make this so much worse Running face first in the toast. Click call from hell. Hell, <laughs> this is hell. Hello, this is hell. I like it. You think like the next level of a collect call in hell is that you have to? Whoa, Jesus fuck! <laughs> that was like immediate. <laughs> Sorry for yelling. I was caught off guard. <laughs> Another animal sacrifice. Burnt mini toast. <laughs> I saw the bodies there, and uh, I wanted to like loot it, and then I like the the mini toast exploded, and I was like, "Oh, what was that?" And then the next thing you know, we're being <laughs> attacked by a freaking alien. Okay, we're ready this time. One, two, okay. No, 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 no! <laughs> I counted! Game, you were supposed to wait. It's okay, you jumped. Yeah, that was, that caught me off guard for sure. They're, they're good with the jump scares. All right, you know, that loot wasn't really worth it. So we're gonna, we're gonna leave it. See what we got back this way. Okay, nothing. <laughs> this man looks like he's seen better days. 
Okay, we got some alien action happening. So, I wonder if there's a switch or something? Nope. Yeah, the, the mini toast will survive this round. That's the way that we came in here from. There's no switches. We couldn't do anything back that way. So, like, it has to be something over here. Oh, that's a terrible way to go. I didn't even, like, notice all these bodies on the wall. They blend in so well. They really tied the room together. Oh, you know what? I just... Oh, that's the door closing behind us. It's like, I just heard a door close. Okay. No, no, he looks cozy. <laughs> they do look like they're nice and wrapped up. Comfy cozy. Oh, I see. Well, this is worse than the vents. You can hear new toast like bumping around back there. I'm guessing this is where new new toast was birthed from. Gun ammo bonding agent. Nice. Mmm, that was the sound. I don't like it, yeah. <laughs> Senses are very heightened right now. <laughs> okay, we got a vent. Vents are bad news. Nope, 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 nope. Where was that? No! Woo! Woo! <laughs> New toast does not care about fire. <laughs> You get! <laughs> yeah, so I think you're you're probably pretty right about not killing the mini toast. Which is like, how do we get around the mini toast then? As soon as you kill him, big toast comes in. I wonder, like, do they just die after a certain amount of time if they can't get you? This is just a terrible area. Set the bombs in, frolic out. <laughs> Can you imagine? Did you see, like, Ripley happy dancing out of here? Bombs exploding. So what if we just, like, run past this thing? Like, no! Are you fucking kidding me? That's, like, insta-death? <laughs> so if we kill Mini-Toast, Big Toast shows up and kills us. If we don't kill Mini-Toast, Mini-Toast kills us. <laughs> I'm not even gonna like bother looting this time. We need to figure this out. Well, run away? That yeah. Like I guess we can see if you can just run for a while and if it goes away.
All right, here it comes. Now we run. It's still following us. Okay. We kill it. Big Toast immediately shows up. Okay. We use all the fire to get it to go away. Maybe it's all brand new and cute and chases its tail after so many times. <laughs> Toast does curve. Yeah, it took... Oh. It took a lot of fire. Holy shit, where did that come from? <laughs> I didn't even hear it. <laughs> Yeah, there's death around every corner, for real, like, my god, every two feet there's some new thing to kill us. <laughs> Melba toaster assholes. <laughs> yeah, like, those things don't mess around, that's for sure. Okay, so we have, like, 500 fire right now right and then I'm gonna kill mini toast and then it takes like another hundred fire fire juice to get big toast to go away yeah you don't like this sir okay we did it we did it all right, now back here we need to know that there is a mini toast waiting for us. Holy shit. I <laughs> freaking love that emote. <laughs> That's toast chilling on fire. Everything's fine. This is fine. <laughs> Just chilling down here. Are you serious? Uh oh. Get it. <laughs> He's back. Oh, my God. <laughs> Goodness! <laughs> Aggressive! Get in your crate, Toast! <laughs> he is very aggressive. But thank God we hit the save point. Okay, so now we have our coconut here. Oh, disengage locking mechanism. Probably this. No power. <laughs> I think. Oh, no, no, Ripley! Is this a uh, power thing? Can we do something? Oh my god. <laughs> what? It sounded like a, a whip just cracked or something. I feel like we do when you get a dog. The fucker's name is going to be Toasty. <laughs> it's such a good name, I think. You can say it in a happy way, you can say it in a toe. Oh! No, no, no.
Okay, there's a hole back there. That I think we're gonna have to go down. My god. But we're running out of the juice! God, game, give me more flamethrower juice. Okay, so we got the power back on. So now we can overload the coconut. Okay, okay. Apparently toast don't like these holes. Are there multiple aliens down here? Like... Felt like one went into the vents, but I still heard footsteps. Oh my god. Okay, cool. So now we don't have to go turn the power back on at least. My god. <laughs> get it, get it. Fuck. Return to the central reactor. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like running is probably a bad idea. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't think I saved. I think we have to do the switches again. <laughs> oh my god. It's like, did we get it? Okay. Coconut engaged. Oh. It's like, dude, I don't see this little guy. Oh my god, I can't hear shit. I don't know if that was like a bug or something, but I can't hear anything. Holy crap. <laughs> Okay. 
made it back to that the, the hole that we need to get to. It's just that there is uh, more freaking face huggers down there. Just gotta keep that in mind. There's no face hugger down here this time. It was weird. And we can actually hear stuff. <laughs> Like blocking the way. Okay. Now we're back to not being able to hear anything. <laughs> Alright. Save. Save, save, save. <laughs> Oh, he just dropped down like right next to us. <laughs> Literally right next to us. <laughs> okay. I'll try to not look at the flashy lights. I'm trying to figure out a way around it. So you're like, does the map tell us? Oh, okay. <laughs> that might have saved us some time. There's something back here. It's like saying there's uh, something to interact with over here. Okay. Well, <laughs> whatever it is, it's dead to us. So it seemed like we needed to go this way. Oh my goodness. Get us out of here. Hey, Copen. Happy Saturday, possibly Sunday to you. How are you doing? And if anyone in chat does not follow Copen, Please Ricardo, check out his channel. I can destroy the nest. Ripley, you've put yourself in enough danger today. I can power up all the cores, overload them, and then initiate a reactor purge. It'll destroy everything down there. Look, I'm not trying to persuade you out of this, Rip. I'd just like it if you didn't die. Overload This is what's going to happen. There are emergency overflow circuits that feed excess power into the local capacitor banks on each tower. If I decouple them and discharge the system, the purge will be external. The nest is right in harm's way. I have no clue what you just said. Just find something to hold on to. Yeah, so copen has been playing Skyrim and Geogaster. Okay, we're going back here. We'll give this a second. He's been playing uh, Skyrim and Geogaster. And uh, yeah, it's a good time hanging out in the stream. And thanks again for the raid. I like this game's vibe. Yes, this game has a great vibe. We uh, we had gotten rid of the alien for a while, and now we have new alien friends. So now we are trying to destroy everything. <laughs> and these guys uh, are androids, and they're super strong. So this should be fun. <laughs> Okay, so now we have to overload these cores without dying. Oh no, I missed. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, 
thank God. We got some more bolt gun ammo. Oh, I missed. I missed. I missed. <laughs> Oh my god, that was so much easier to get. <laughs> okay. Hopefully we get at least one more, like, uh, bulk of ammo. Well, <laughs> that wish isn't going to be granted. Well, maybe we killed them all at least. Nailed it, yeah. <laughs> Dude, the sounds in this area are like oddly pleasing. They sound so good. Use move keys to highlight values. Enter to confirm. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, hey, we picked up a bulk on ammo at some point. Okay. I think we have to do the thing down here. Overload to beta core. Right. There's nothing for us to interact with? <laughs> Hello? Maybe we gotta like finish doing something over here? Press matching move keys. Oh god, not this again. <laughs> Up. Ah! Okay, now overload with beta core. There we go. Use left, right to balance the values. Enter to confirm. Oh, what does that mean? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was just like spamming buttons. I, honest to God, had no idea what to do with that one. Okay, and then now we go to the front. Pressure! <laughs> yeah, this would be nuts if you were like doing this for real. I'm glad there's no time limit on these things, though. Oh, I can move this thing up and down. We're waiting for like a white number to show up, but... It's been a while. There it is. Redirect power to central core. Oh, God. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
What the fuck? This old computer reminds you of Fallout 3. Yeah. It's definitely got kind of that same interface. Please don't miss. Please don't miss. No, no. Get out. Get out. <laughs> Okay, we can't afford to try to kill them again, but we can at least, oh no, run away. Okay, and I think we have to go to like that second floor thing. Let me check this body real quick. No good loot. Doors locked. Oh boy. <laughs> Redirect power. My god, we have to go back down there. Which, if these things are on the bridge, that might be bad news. What are the odds lightning got him? Oh, they're like walking around. Oh, they're going exactly where we need to go. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, they're coming back this way. <laughs> so if we can just get him to come back this way and then we run the other way, we should be good. But like, how creepy is that? Just two red eyes coming at you in the dark. <laughs> this is our chance! Initiate purge from reactor control. Okay, yeah, so now we need to go to where I thought we needed to go the first time. <laughs> I was like, where did they go? Alright, that's one of them. Where's the other one? Oh! He's on fire. Oh, they're both on fire. <laughs> I don't know what killed them, but... Happy that happened. <laughs> oh my God, I want to get away from this thing. It's like stray lightning striking everywhere. Oh, this is like the alarm from the original Alien movie, dude. It's so good. Crazy to be able to hear again. <laughs> okay, it seems like we're good in here. Initiate purge with up and down. Uh, initialize a purge sequence. 
Carter. I'm about to purge the nest. Hang tight. Commence purge sequence. There's so many toasts. <laughs> it's like the perfect emo combo. Oh, there was like 18 million of those things. There's still some on the station. Shit. Huh. Um. I'm sorry, Ricardo. Just get back to the Marshall Bureau, Rip. Please. Now it's hell for sure. Ripley took a a situation that was like at a ten and and pushed it to like a thousand. <laughs> Toast Fam Reunion Barbecue. <laughs> they're they're actually at the uh, Toast Fam Reunion uh, buffet. They about to be feasting. Think? I need you to get to medical. Now. The, the reactor purge. It's resetting systems across Sevastopol. Lights, transit, maybe even communications. I think this is our big chance. Just go. Now. We might not have much time. I'm heading down to comps. Oh, God. We need a save point is what we need. And I think I hear echoes of one. See if we got any good loot down here, though. Try the mustard potato salad. Oh, I thank you, Toast. <laughs> it's a Toast family uh, tradition. Okay, there was two ways up. There was a door over here. You know, like, I would... I would not be opposed to like a good barbecue. I was watching, uh, there's a YouTube channel that I follow where this dude just like cooks all kinds of good food. And he posted one video today where he made some uh, uh, s spare ribs, like barbecue spare ribs. And I was just like, oh, it's probably so freaking good. Okay, I was kind of hoping for some better loot, but I'll take it. Ribs, yeah, like they look so good. Okay, what do we got going on up here? I think like ribs and mac and cheese are probably my two favorite things you can get at a barbecue. Like, just leave me alone to drown in a sea of ribs and mac and cheese and I'll be good. <laughs> Get to engineering transit station. Okay, do these all go to engineering? Lorenz, Systex Spire, SciMed Tower, service offline. Get to the engineering transit station, okay. Which one takes us to engineering? <laughs> okay, we're just picking one. When you eat ribs, you take a food coma. Oh yeah, for sure. Like worse than a full stoner. Don't want these whack broken potato. Broken po like there's nothing. Okay, let me back up. I was gonna say there's nothing worse than opening a bag of chips and having it be like a whole bunch of broken chips, but there's nothing worse than that, than opening a bag of chips that feels like it's a full bag of chips, and it's like a half bag of broken ass chips. <laughs> it's just like, come on, really? <laughs> Looking at you, sun chips. Man, 
Maybe this was the only one we could have called. I don't know. Maybe I'm a dum dum. No, we can call multiple. Simed Tower. Yeah, we'll, we'll find out if this was the right way. I really like the atmosphere of this game a lot. Like, they, they did it so freaking well. And I can't stop gushing about this game because I love it. These GPUs? We got some toast bumps. Get to Sevastopol Psy Med Tower. Okay, well, we're almost there. Half bag broken ice chips and O2. Oh, salt. Sun Chips knows they know. Yeah, Sun Chips. Sun Chips knows their business. Oh no. We are almost out of fire juice. Laser Jeez is the worst offender. Yeah, Laze is also terrible at that too. Test family photos are on those. Save. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't know we're here. Oh, this is going to be so bad. There's There's so many of these things on the station now. Oh god. <laughs> like we have no way of pushing them. Oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Holy shit. No 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 no. Go, 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 go. Please go. <laughs> yup. <Yeah. laughs> we should have saved the fire juice, I feel like. Toast, bagel, English muffin, hoagie roll. We've <laughs> running out of names. Ricardo, I'm at medical. Did you manage to get to comms? Why'd you send me here? Plan B, Rip. See, before I left, the system showed a ship approaching Sevastopol. I think it's the Inisadora. Marlow managed to send out his auto codes to call it in while comms were temporarily open. We've got to get to it. Is it docking? No, but it's in a holding position nearby. Head for the ambulance bay. The shuttles are really short range, but they'll make it. Got it. Find a short range ambulance, my goodness. Hawaiian roll. <laughs> it's the one that's l let shit slide. <laughs> Hawaiian roll's got a, a calm personality. We like Hawaiian roll. Oh no. How do we get over there? Oh, you know, wait, San Cristobal Medical Center. Ugh. Oh, that's so far. Hawaiian rolls are the best. So good. Yeah, Hawaiian rolls. I can literally sit and just pull Hawaiian rolls out of like a, a package of them and just eat them by themselves. Like nothing on them, just eating them. Those things are so freaking good. Restore power. Be nice if we could just... Ooh! Look at us! Oh, 
Let's just carry yourself because you're dying. <laughs> yeah, I don't have faith in our ability right now. With everything but bagel seasoning, ham and cheese, oof. Doing great. <laughs> we're, we're trying. Wanted to see if there's anything worth checking out back here before we potentially leave all this for good. An elevator. And we can't get in there. You got ham and cheese? This shit is on! Ham and cheese, actually, I've got some ham and cheese. I have uh, ham and some pepper jack cheese. And I think I'm gonna make like a grilled ham and pepper jack cheese sandwich for lunch. Okay, so that looks like where we need to go. Let's just see if there's any loot in here real quick. Famous last words. Fire juice! Now you're hungry? <laughs> Sorry. I pretty much never stop thinking about food. Got that filthy American for ramen. <laughs> you know, sometimes I do enjoy me the good Maru Chan. What is this? Access load. Hughes, it's Ransom. I just got your query. Yes, I have been in our transmission relay archive and I've done some decrypting. I'm looking for crew logs that passed through Sevastopol a while ago. I know you're concerned, but it's ancient history. It's just some stuff I need to know. A routine company transmission packet sent from the edge of Thetis before a ship started its trip home. Nothing that's gonna break anything. <laughs> Ripley's asked me to buy a report on what happened to the umbilicus when we looked onto the refinery. I'll tell you what happened. Me and Brad were holding the place together with our bare hands. Oh, is that Parker? I think means of tons of oil, but get someone from the front deck. Someone on a full share down here with us. You know, checking up on the stuff we need. You wanna get out of the system on schedule next time? You put it in the stroller and dry dock for a month. You wait till we're done with it. You pay what we're due. Park her out. Oh boy. That's awesome. Oh no. <laughs> There's like nothing to hide in. Where are we? You don't want the smoke. I don't hear any footsteps. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god, he's just chilling. I think we have like two blasts and then we are completely out of flamethrower juice. I would really rather not use this right now. <laughs> Be smart, man. Oh my god. Alright, well, 
I think we're we're gonna have to do this. <laughs> Shit. Oh, here he comes. Oh, we're boned. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We're alive. We're alive. Play cool toast, yeah. <laughs> Everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> we made it. We have, I think, like one fire blast left, and then we are up shit creek. <laughs> Find an ambulance craft in San Cristobal Medical Facility. Ah, this is the room that exploded in our face. Loot? Loot? Did we got any loot? Okay, we're- okay. Oh my goodness, that's a long way. So we have to make our way up here. Oh no. <laughs> Jesus saves. PTL. That's a dark ass room. Dead in the dental surgery chair. Wingard, my name is Julia Jones, and I'm a writer covering Sevastopol's decommissioning. I was hoping to interview you about your experiences on the station. You know, the limited medical resources, the medical <laughs> deep space, that kind of thing. But look, doctor, I've heard there was some kind of incident in the hospital recently. No one seems to know anything. Doctor, if there's a major public health issue here on Sevastopol, people need to know. I'm freelance. Unbiased. I don't have any corporate affiliation. Let me be a friend to you. Call me. I'm sure she had nothing but good intentions. Okay. There's something over there, but there's a lot of fire surrounding that. So this seems like the way that we need to go. And I have not heard a save thing. And we can't go that way. Oh yes, I remember this area. I remember this area real well. I'm trying to see if we can find a safe point real quick. This is completely back ass words, but you're warm and cozy, and this is making you want a good old nap nap. <laughs> oh. oh no, 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 he's a rubber boy. Yeah, it's like something about like cold weather and space always kind of makes me sleepy, like regardless of what's actually happening. Oh, he did. He caught us. <laughs> oh, God. Well, we're dead. <laughs> I should be peeing a little. <laughs> I feel like if you were being choked out by an android and trying to survive the alien, you, yeah. A little bit of Wii is in order.
Like, can we decommission the freaking... 2505, you need access to central wards, 2505. This is Ransom. Remember me? Your friendly Sikhs and Chief Executive. Just wanted to take a look at where we need to go real quick. Lingard, you don't drop by, you don't call. Aren't we pals anymore? Oh well, we're both busy people. And after all, I have lots of other friends. Some of them have badges. One of them told me you called Marshall Waits about a, shall we say, interesting find? I want in. No arguments. After all, how much does Waits really know about you? Not as much as your old friend here, and I bet he wouldn't be as understanding about black market med supplies. I look forward to your call, Doc. Okay, a rubber friend is right in front of us. We may be able to just cut through. I think he might be looking at us. If he is, we're just gonna make a break for it. I think he heard us. Choku, bitch ass droid got us killed. <laughs> yeah, that droid was in, in a very unfortunate place. <laughs> I hear a save point. I think we're gonna go for it real quick. Oh god, this room. Yeah, I definitely remember this. Like all this debris floating by the windows. That'd be like terrifying. All one has to do is shatter a window and then we all did. Sounds like there's a camera. I don't think we've been in th this room. Okay, so it looks like there's a door to the left of us, but we'll just take a look around real quick. Flashbang. Find a level 3 upgrade for the access tuner. Okay. No problem. Apparently it's in here somewhere. Really? <laughs> it's just randomly laying around? <laughs> okay, hack the door and board the shuttle. Okay, C thing, E thing, T thing, this thing, and that. Answer. Oh, dude, how terrifying would this be? Here in this little tiny shuttle launching into space.
Ricardo, can you hear me? Are we on a new ship or is this still the same thing? Explore the Anisadora. Well, I can't tell, like, is this the the ambulance ship that we're on or is this the Anisadora? Bring back the Anisadora's, bring the Anisadora systems back online. Okay, well, sounds like this is also being destroyed by aliens. <laughs> Okay, so we have to go up and to the left somehow. Because we got explore time, yeah! You get to see all the new sites. It is really dark on this ship. We may have broken our losing streak. We've barely been scraping a living the past couple of years, and the Anisadora is starting to look like the wrecks we salvage. Can't say the crew's been faring any better. Then, we found that flight recorder. It belongs to a ship in Stromo, Wayland yutani property. That means there'll be a reward. But then, Marlowe had an even better idea. Extrapolate the path of the flight recorder to try to find the wreck of the Nostromo. We got lucky. Found a distress signal and now we're following it. This is it. I can feel it in my bones. He always said he'd do right by me. Oh, uh, this is Marlo's ship. They're the ones who brought the first Zeno on the uh, Sevastopol. So, yeah, I think we got some more toast time coming up. <laughs> signal detected. Marlo. Heist says he's just picked up some kind of signal. I've got Lewis trying to decode it now. Could be the Nostromo. Want to come up and see for yourself? Technician's report. Technician's report. 10.24.2137. Marlo, I just had to do some much needed work on the sublight engines. The old girl was complaining so loudly and surprised... I'm surprised something didn't fall off during the last jump. Everything's holding together for now, but she'll need a full overhaul soon. And not just for the core systems. We keep pushing her like this. We're going to end up being the only salvage crew hi hitchhiking through deep space. It's going to be an expensive job. So let's hope you're right about that beacon. It could be our last chance for a decent paycheck. Anyway, I had to reset the door key, key code afterwards. The new one is 4510 Lewis. Error. Approaching Sevastopol. We're outside Sevastopol. Milo and Foster woke up first. She looked terrible. Meeks and me are about to take a shuttle to the station. But well, this has got to break quarantine procedures, right? It's Milo's ship. She's Milo's wife. And things got heated. And Meeks got a bloody nose. So, I don't know. Maybe the doctors will give her the all clear and things can get to normal. But if they sniff it out when we get on board, I don't want any part of it. Milo doesn't pay nearly enough for that kind of noise. Okay. Uh, 4510, I think was that key code. 4, 5, 1. <laughs> okay. I can count, I promise. Oh my goodness. 4, 5, 1, 0. This looks like an engine room of some sort.
That's really cool. God, like the lighting in this game is insane. systems back online. Doors should be open. Hopefully some light. Still no sign of one. I feel like she should probably be mentioning how wrecked the ship is right now and that probably a whole bunch of people are dead. <laughs> hey Ripley. Welcome to the Anisadora. Marlo? Where are you Marlo? Thanks for switching the power back on. You saved me a job. I only needed it offline temporarily. I had some things to fix. Find Marlo. Like, he sounds crazy. Let's not find Marlo. Doesn't look like any doors are unlocked on the side. And I think, uh, okay, I was gonna say, I think this is. We got facehuggers on board. And that sounded like he had Taylor. Oh, it's a radio. Skip Marlow 110%. <laughs> Sevastopol, log 543374. Whatever it was that attached itself to Foster is dead. I found it on the floor by her bed, all curled up like a spider. Foster said she felt fine, but I insisted on putting her into hypersleep. That thing must have done something to her, but maybe I can slow the process. Sevastopol's the nearest station, so I'm going to get her checked out. Quarantine will be a problem, but I figure the Nostromo flight recorder may be the ticket in. Whatever we have to do. A roar? Anisadora Hale. Anisadora, this is Marshal Waits of Sevastopol. Officially, I should deny your request to dock. Sevastopol is currently being decommissioned, and I can't compromise security for unscheduled vessels. However, in the light of the property you found, I will allow a small number of your crew to dock via a short-range shuttle. I must remind you that Sevastopol is entitled to a cut of any reward for return of said property once it's on station. Let me know your decision. So this whole thing went down because everybody's greedy. Like, it seems about right. Blink! Happy Saturday! How are you today? My morning is definitely going well. I hope yours is going well as well. I was watching you play that uh, that Rocket game, Rocket something, on the, the N64 game. I can honestly say I had never seen that game before, and it seemed like it was pretty interesting. Okay. These things, oh, oh, this is a short one. T thing, that thing, and this. For anyone who has a three day weekend, does anyone have any fun plans for the long weekend? Okay. 
Not a whole lot going on in this room. We got a, a turbo dark room. Good morning so far, but it'll be better when the coffee finally brews. <laughs> it's always uh, always good when you can get your, your morning hit caffeine. I usually drink uh, green tea and uh, definitely like it. Yeah, Foster, or not Foster, Marlo sounds like uh, he has nothing to lose and he's given up. So this is definitely not a great situation. You have Monday off, but your honey does not, so probably just play some chill games. Aw, oh, that sucks. Yeah, it'd been great if you guys could both uh, enjoy the long weekend. What chill games are you thinking about? T thing, this thing and the V thing. <laughs> I can't think of what I th think is creepier, like the ship noises or like when the aliens bumping around in the vents and stuff. I think the ship noises tend to get me more, <laughs> like jump scare me more. Been wanting to boot up some Planet Zoo. Oh, that's, I freaking love games like that. I've been uh, wanting to reinstall Jurassic Park uh, Evolution, whatever the, that name, the game is, and do some uh, dinosaur park building. I love games where you can just kind of like mess around and you get to be a little creative and like there's no pressure. You just do whatever you want. You have that one too? Might play that instead. <laughs> I think either one of those would be a good choice. Okay, do you flight recorder data? Okay, that seems to be our, oh, no power. Okay, so this seems like our only option. Added report, personal message. This is for my daughter. Hi, Amanda. I'm recording this for you, my sweetheart, and I hope you get to hear it one day. You see, I, um, I got into trouble. Um, my ship, there was an accident, sweetheart, and, um, we found an alien creature. It was very dangerous, and the only way we could stop it was to destroy the ship. Uh, I'm okay. I'm stuck on this lifeboat, long way out. But we had to destroy the ship. We had to destroy the Nostromo. We just couldn't risk bringing that thing home with us. I needed to protect you. Don't worry. Don't worry about me. I'm sure I'll see you very soon. I love you, sweetheart. That's crazy. Also need tidy up. <laughs> oh my god. It's 
did not ask for these feels today. <laughs> uh oh. Now you understand. Oh, this is us. This is us. That'll turn the reactor into a goddamn nuke. You'll destroy the ship and the station. It'll annihilate every trace of that creature. Ripley, it's the only way. I can't let it live. And I'm not letting the company have it, or they'll just start the whole thing over again. Uh, we can't do anything. Listen to me! We don't have to do this! Marlo, please. You heard what your mother did. She understood. If she was here, she'd be helping me. You think she would want company suits done to zip code of that creature? No one must know. There are still people alive on the station. Mona! Foster's not. She was my wife. I loved her. And I killed her. Yep. Oh. Taylor did a thing. Shut off fusion systems to prevent overload. Oh boy, this is a lot. Uh, this, uh, that, oh, screwed that up already. <laughs> uh, L thing, E thing, T, this. No! I think we were too late. <laughs> Dang it. Oh. That's weird. It didn't take us all the way back to safe point. Okay, don't screw this up the first time, it seems. Okay, E, this, this, V, okay. They knew you'd have trouble with this part? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Excuse me, door? Woo, not that way. What? What was that song? <laughs> Why did we get the music? Dude, 
Dude, this is nuts. This seems like the only way to go. I think I broke the game. <laughs> we got a achievement that says the message. The clutch save. <laughs> Find a way to contact the Torrens. The broadcast from the lane just updated. Hello, Sebastopol. Can you respond? We just saw a ship blow on your starboard side, took out an entire orbital stabilizer array. We have no place to dock. Please, tell us what's going on in there. We, we can take survivors. I'll leave this channel open. Torrens out. Oh yeah, we're back in hell, I forgot. <laughs> we're back in hell with no fire juice! Okay, there's something down here, so we need to find Ricardo. Uh, so probably just going straight. Oh, it's a map. It's a map, it's a map. was all that exploding on part of the ship so there uh there was a ship attached to a space station which is what we're on now and the ship exploded and then we took an ambulance off of that ship back onto the space station and so uh yeah that ship's no longer a thing and now the space station's damaged They got some gear. Feels like we're standing around waiting to die. Rip ship, yeah. That thing is dead. And it kind of sucks Taylor died too. I kind of was hoping someone on our crew would make it out. Crazy and impressive how long this game is for a survival horror game. This game is so impressive on so many levels. And it just blows my mind that there was not a sequel to this. Like, Sega's response to this game's success was to disband the dev team. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, no, no, no. Is this the way we're supposed to be going? So if we go that way, we go around this vent, and we end up in this X room? Okay, so while we have a second here, let's... Craft some medkits real quick. I feel like we were waiting in this exact same spot once before. <laughs> Seems like they made the wrong call there. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I would have to agree with you there. They're probably like, hey, let's make another Sonic game. People, people love those, right? <laughs> uh oh. He saw us. Okay, they gave up. There's one up there. I wonder if we can sound an alarm. I wonder if we can bring the alien in and <laughs> let the alien just destroy them. Call log. Oh, I feel like we. Nope, nope, nope. Stop, stop, stop. Dude's like standing right at the doorway. <laughs> Please don't come this way, sir. Okay, he turned around. Got that stormtrooper vision. <laughs> We're good. Okay, so now we need to go to the right and then down and then make this little like U-turn thing. Hopefully we can just get through here. Oh, oh this dude is looking right at us. <laughs> here, save. What about the kids are doing right now? Yeah, so now we just need to go down. Oh, I remember this. We definitely got better at the sneaking, though. I say as we probably get dominated as soon as we walk through this door. Okay, so now we go down into this hallway to the right and go down and then the doors on the left. Is that here or is that noise? We went into there.
Oh, is it worth this? Should we be doing this? Oh, okay, yeah, I remember this. We've already looted this. There was a android on the other side of this counter that grabbed us, scared the hell out of me. He's not there anymore. Oof. <laughs> Okay, so it seems like where we're heading is going to be right up here. I think there's someone in there sitting at the console. But if I remember, I think there's like a vent over here. Oh, what is this? Oh, is that Ricardo? Okay. Well, <laughs> we can at least see what's over here. Okay, nothing. <laughs> We're gonna chance it. Ripley, you okay? Listen, Marlowe's permissions are still locked at this terminal. If we had the coordinates for the torrents, we could align the transmitter dishes manually, bypass Apollo completely. There's an observatory near the comms array, right? Yeah. You should be able to find the torrents coordinates using that. I'll get the door for you. Find the Sevastopol Observatory. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. All these places are starting to come together. Okay, so we go... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first time that we were in this area, we couldn't go this way. Okay, so just go straight and then take a left. Call the elevator. Do, 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 do. Like, what would you even be thinking about? Oh, it's the elevator. It's like, that was a very loud thud. It's like, what would you be thinking about if you had, like, a spare 30 seconds in a situation like this? <laughs> map so this room was filled with androids the first time we came through here oh sounds like it's security I think we are going the right way so far. The music is so freaking good right now. Like, just the ambient noises on this shipper. So freaking amazing to me. Oh, you did not have a good day. 
Some ice cream to calm the old Vietnam nerves, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this, uh, this game give you some of that PTSDs. It's like you're really there, yeah. It's like the lighting, the atmosphere, the sounds, like they just absolutely nailed this game. And I hate myself for not playing it sooner. <laughs> Match input. Oh, I see. Oh, I didn't read the second part. Press enter to confirm. I was like, what am I doing here? Okay, so we did that one. Now we do this. Use move keys to control the docking alignment. Press enter to engage. Wait, did I not do it? Are we trying to match the circle size? Okay, apparently so. <laughs> we got a, an achievement that says Seekson System Expert. Bluebell ice cream is like crack. Like, I don't know what they put in that ice cream, but my goodness, it's good. <laughs> Dude, look at this view! Like, the dirt on the windows, the light, the atmosphere around Jupiter. Ugh! Oh. Okay, we're back to this one. Thank God. Ricardo, I found them. Now you've got to align the dishes to the Torrance position manually. Jack, I'm going outside. Atmosphere. It's crack. <laughs> What if there is a planet made entirely entirely of bluebell ice cream? I would eat it. I'd eat the whole planet. Okay, so we did that. So now we need to manually input Torn's coordinates. I have no idea how we're supposed to get there. <laughs> Maybe this door is open now? Get me off this planet! Get me on the Bluebell planet! Yeah, for real! <laughs> like, there's no worries on the Bluebell planet. Only ice cream. I can unlock the entrance to the airlock from here. Give me a sec. There, got it. Hey, they opened the door. Fear space travel is done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will risk everything to go to the Blue Bell Planet. The jittery elevator. <laughs> no more nightmares. Only ice cream dreams now. <laughs> Get me there. Stat. Oh, are we are we doing some space walking? EVA preparation. I think we're going out in space. Elon, where my group on at?
Oh, I think we're in a cutscene. Oh no. <laughs> we're getting like hit by all this debris. We are in space. <laughs> We're going as fast as space will let us. Oh dang, the sun looks awesome. This station is like so cool to look at. Hearing toast noises. It's a long walk. What, am I going crazy? I thought I just saw like some burning lights on the ground and then some uh, <laughs> some like marks on the ground now they're all gone. Yeah, like that. Like what? Am I taking crazy pills? Bad toast, bad. <laughs> Can't interact with that. Punching the coordinates at the terminal. I, I imagine this is not the terminal. Oh, input torrents coordinates. Servo lock on. Parabolic antenna in fixed position. Damn it! <laughs> it's always something. Remove parabolic antenna lock. I assume it's down this way. <laughs> I wonder if she's like harnessed to anything right now. <laughs> like, how are we not floating off in the space? Freeze. This is a very dark room. Power, power up clamp release. I can't even like see in here. Is this the thing? Like. Unlock emergency clamp, right? Power up clamp release. Okay. <laughs> How do I achieve step one? Oh, okay. Can we do this now? No. Nope. 
This doesn't really seem like a thing to do. Not, okay, now we can do these. Just became engineer. <laughs> Send me my degree from Sevastopol Tech, please. Like, I feel like if you didn't find that first switch, this one was impossible. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's head back. Actually, let's check the map. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it's like, let's make sure we don't need to do anything down here. This game has layers like an onion, yeah. This game has like so much going on in it, it's kind of crazy. And like what what is insane to me is that we have not run into a single bug. Not a one. Use the move keys to enter coordinates. What are the coordinates? <laughs> Uh, manually input torrents coordinates. The Anisador, what are the coordinates to input game? <laughs> torrents coordinates, 3575, okay. <laughs> How do you change the top ones? How do you change the top coordinates game? Like, does it roll over? How do you freaking change the top? <laughs> It said 3575, right? Oh, okay. Maybe 35 is the first number. Okay. <laughs> well, now that we've figured that out. <laughs> It's about to be like about that bug, yeah. <laughs> I I ruined it. That's pretty cool. Um okay, I guess we don't have an objective yet, so let's watch the show. internet Torrance, Torrance, this is Ripley on the station. Are you reading me, Verlaine? Ripley, what the hell is going on over there? Bad things, Torrance. There's an alien organism here. It's deadly. We need urgent extraction. A what? There's no time to explain. Please, Verlaine. There's nowhere for us to dock, Ripley. The station's tearing free from its gravity mooring. I've seen a towing platform below the space flight terminal, but the Torrance umbilical isn't built for it. You'll need to extend the tow platform clamp station side. Just get into position. Find a way to the Torrance dock. Okay, does that mean going back in? Okay, yeah. So we have to go... <laughs> Take the long walk back.
that's incredibly sort of helpful, maybe? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that might be a good thing, or possibly a bad thing. But it'd be, like, really cool if we could get a rescue and get off of the ship from hell. <laughs> Why can't we move this one? Fazdar, happy Saturday. How are you this morning? Well, almost afternoon, yeah. We got another morning of 2021 behind us almost. How goes your day so far? And... Do you have, uh... Any big plans? You doing anything fun today? We're almost there. <laughs> it's like the slowest walk of all time. Oh, that's a toast. That's a toast just chilling out in space. That's crazy. <laughs> Work is so slow, so you're coasting. That's the... Well, those are always the best days. That's how yesterday was for me. It was a half day for us. And uh, my manager was in calls all day. So, like, all I... All I did was watch YouTube videos. <laughs> Praise coasting. Yeah, for real. Today, just playing Hades, waiting for calls. Hades is a game that I would really like to play one day. Like, the art style looks incredible. The gameplay looks like it's really fun. Seems like there's endless build possibilities. Toast is now every scroll. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Uh-oh. Ricardo? Ricardo, do you copy? Ricardo, come in. I think Toast just found his ketchup spread. Highly recommend just hit 200 hours. Dang, you must really be enjoying that. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, we are right next to a save point. Where are you? Where? Oh, it was right below us, right? I think I already hit it. Just in case. Okay, save point went away. Yeah, I think it's below us. I think we hit it. Checks quite a few of your boxes. What would those boxes be? I do enjoy a, g a game that, like, clicks with you on multiple levels. It's coming this way. I think he's like right on the other side of these boxes. Is he 
just like right here. Oh, he's just chilling. Chilling. Good story, amazing art, engaging and challenging gameplay, amazing soundtrack. Yeah, okay. Yeah, those are some good boxes to check. Toast is playing peekaboo, yeah. Like, Toast, go find someone else, please. Only game you'll ever say you're glad they took the Epic Games Year exclusive deal? <laughs> Is that the, just because it got funded? 80s is of tea. Glad you waited for the Steam release. Yeah, like I've I've heard nothing but good game good things about Hades. Good lord. The extra funding helped. Yeah, that epic games money. We are right next to the save point. <laughs> Going for it! Look at him slow rolling. Oh my god, we're out of fire juice. We're out of fire juice. <laughs> We are officially in a bad spot. <laughs> Not exaggerating when you say you're past 200 hour mark and still haven't unlocked everything and still discovering new aspects of the game. Yeah, like, there's some games that are just like that. Like, uh... I think... I probably... put well over a thousand hours into Oblivion until I beat it my first time. And, like, I still find... new stuff in that game. And I still have never beaten Skyrim and probably have just about as much time in it. Oh, flamethrower juice. Got any more of that stuff? Oh no. Ricardo got that face hug. Oh. <laughs> No, 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 no.
This music is insane right now. <laughs> okay. So I think we want to go through here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Went into the vents. There's no vents in here with us. Oh. I think we got a multi toast situation, folks. <laughs> I think we got a multi toast situation. Alright, there's a save right in freaking front of us somewhere. Damn it! Yeah, <laughs> things are things are not looking good for Amanda right now. There's a toast down here. Cool. We have one flame juice left. How do we... Shotgun, please. <laughs> and now we have to go around this entire room. Son of a gun! This thing is just wrecking things. <laughs> cool. One of these Sikhs and security guards is crying right next to us. Are you fucking stupid? Hey. You dumbass, god damn it. <laughs> you deserve everything that's happening to you. <laughs> Why would you shoot me when there's an alien, you fucking idiots? <laughs> Give him a hanky. <laughs> Friendly ass fire. Like you would think at some point you would all be like hey we're on the same side of trying not to get eaten by an alien <laughs> okay so we know there's security guards down here and also an alien Elite farmer now. <laughs> the enemy of my enemy is my friend. I feel like we're all just these idiots are shooting at the alien. 
Nope. Nope. <laughs> Alien. I sleep. Unknown human. Real shit. <laughs> Could be alive right now, but nope. You had to be stupid. Oh, this is like a one way trip. Oh, Ripley. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> it's like. Oh, Ripley. <laughs> We were committed at that point, though. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ripley. Hey! No! 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 Uh oh. <laughs> oh, all kinds of badness. <laughs> Bum rush them. Yeah, I feel like uh, the running strategy did kind of work. Shaky ship right now. All right, no more hiding. We getting out in them streets. Are too scary. <laughs> it's just about to be like as soon as we said that, we hear this dude get wrecked, and it's like, never mind. We're leaving them streets alone. Back in the locker. <laughs> Here he comes behind us, Ripley. Ripley, oh my god, Ripley. <laughs> There's our cry, baby. Of all the places you could have gone, Toast! No! <laughs> and he David blamed himself out of the situation? <laughs> okay, we're doing this. Get our shoddy out. Nope. Oh my god, that dude chunked us! Why? That dude shot us one time and it took like 80% of our health. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> this phone is your least favorite? Yeah. <laughs> The phone's like, how's the kids? How's the family? I didn't see you last Tuesday. Darkness, get ye to a nunnery.
Guess he's not gonna spawn behind us this time. PTL! <laughs> you need Jesus! Come on. Come on, alien. Toast? This is acceptable. Okay, let's just heal. Mm. Nope. Take him out. We're gonna wait for Toast to snack on this man. Why would you come for me, you son of a- God damn it, Toast! God damn it, Toast! <laughs> we survived! And then Toast ruined it! <laughs> Yo, <laughs> random guy. Oh man, what a relief. <laughs> Toast ruins everything. He needs to be rehomed. Oh. oh, come on, Toast. Well, we got two flame juices left. God, come on. <laughs> come on, dude. I was just about to throw a noisemaker. Honestly, surprised Toast isn't just backhanding heads from shoulders. That's how strong he is. Yeah. It's like taking the time to like nom on everything. It's like just, just rip us in half. <laughs> All right. RN Jesus, please be with us this time. <laughs> Please put in some work for us, Toast. Can we make it? Can we make it? Can we make it? Okay, there's still a guard down here. We haven't heard him drop down yet. And a door just opened. So I think an alien's coming down the stairs. 
reminds you of those hilarious Jesus saves pieces, but with alternate captions, yeah. <laughs> The flamethrower is going to give us away. Dude, there should be a guard out there. Alright, this is our time to shine. We're a dull bulb. <laughs> Where are our distractions? Is there a guard hiding down there? <laughs> he just took off running. Oh, he did kill a guard. Oh my god! Jesus! Oof, you spooked you. <laughs> that was nuts. Toast? For real? Like, where are you, man? Oh, this dude's looking right at us. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> God damn it. Remember when we had like infinite flamethrower juice? <laughs> this was so much easier. I can't tell if it's upstairs or downstairs.
Okay, I think an alien just like dropped down on our left. <laughs> that man made a mistake. Toast is out there feasting. Don't you do it. Hope he gets some ribs and the itis kicks in. <laughs> That would be perfect. Like, please, RN Jesus, let Toast get the itis. <laughs> okay, I, we're going for it. We got enough flamethrower juice. Toast just don't care. Hey, we got two bodies there. He yelled, God damn it. <laughs> Are we frustrating you like your cats? <laughs> like, he just won't leave us alone. Bring out our old friend, the flare. Hopefully there's no dumbasses over here to ruin things for us. Oh my god. Oh my god. Nope. Nope. Where do we go? <laughs> come on, come on! Fuck! <laughs> no!